Hey guys, how you doing today? Shane here at Tugs Garage. Today we're replacing the oil in my 2020 Jeep Cherokee 3.2 liter V6. Today I'm going to try out this new Fram oil filter. It's the first time I ever changed the oil in this. I just thought I'd bring you along. Enjoy the show. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Guys, let's get to changing that oil. Don't forget your jacks, man. Hi, right, guys. I'm gonna put the oil drain pan underneath there, and then got to climb under there and figure out what size bolt. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is my first time changing oil in this. Got uh, 24,000 miles on it, but we'll figure it out. All right, guys, underneath the vehicle, right here, there's a door for the oil drain. Got those look like 10 millimeter, two 10 millimeter bolts. Right there, right, right there. All right, bear with me. We'll run up and get a wrench. It looks like there's the. Let me see if you can see that. Right there. That looks to be the drain bolt. And then it's possibly a 13 millimeter. Let me go grab a couple uh, sockets and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I got a 10 mil and a 13. And the drain door is right there. All right, drain doors out of the way. Let me show you the boat. Right there. That's what we're going after. All right, let's try this 13. Yep, 13 millimeter. I just hope that oil don't go off. All over everything. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever changed this since we bought it. We didn't buy it brand new. Had like almost 20,000 miles on it when we bought it. And it was a, uh, Bought at a dealership, but it was a uh, rental car from Progressive, or um, not Progressive, uh, Interstate. I know, I should have changed it as soon as I got it, but I didn't get to it. And it still had 80% on the oil change. You know, it's funny, I went into advance to ask him. For the oil, ask them if, I, if it's full synthetic. Computer didn't specify. I was like, well, I'm pretty sure it's full synthetic. It's 2020. Pretty much everything's synthetic anymore. Heck, that's why I use my 04 now. Full synthetic. Filter. There's a cartridge filter. I'll show you where that's at here in a minute. I'll finish letting this drain out. Dave, it's weird how Jeep. How Jeep went 
and change the design. This V6 is in there sideways like a front wheel drive car. Your, that's your transfer case, if that's what you still call them. And then the drive line runs all the way back to the back. Yeah, because here's the oil pan. Right up in here is a transmission. I don't know why everybody's got to mess with everything and change it. Just like taking away the four point. Oh, inline V or inline six. Always gotta mess with a good thing. This is all four wheel independent suspension. No more straight axles. Well, not on the keys anymore. You know, and the XJ was the most popular vehicle for off road, and then they take the Cherokee and screw it all up. I mean, don't get me wrong, we like it. My wife loves it. But I know there's a, probably a lot of modifications you got to do to make this an off road vehicle. Alright. That's good, drippy drip. All right, guys. Two ways you can get to the oil filler. Oil filler's underneath this little door right here. You take it off, pull it out right there. But for today, I'm going to take this engine cover off so you can see better. So right here, I have a. That's a 15, 15 16 socket. And, uh, spin this cap. There's the cartridge. It just pulls out. Just pulls out like that. The new one slides in there. Got a Fram. That light. Fram titanium. Here's the part number. FS11665. It says 20,000 mile, I don't know if that'll focus. 20,000 mile protection. All right, here's the new filter. There, going in. Don't get cranking on that too hard, that's plastic. It's like everything they put in cars anymore. Alright. 
oil fill. Right, chia. There's the oil fill. Here's the dipstick. All right, calls for six quarts. Here's five quart jug. When I get done putting the oil in, let it warm up. I'll take you in and show you how to reset the oil change timer. Here's one quart more, six. Check the zip stick. Making a mess. That oil. Cat back on. Okay. All right. Out. Let's start it up. Okay guys, here we are in the car. We're going to reset the oil life timer. Right now we're on speedometer. If you go down here on the left hand side of the steering wheel, this is to control everything in the on dash computer. So if you scroll down, there's the vehicle info. Vehicle info, you have your oil life, oil temp, Transmission temp, coolant temp, tire pressure, ba voltage, battery voltage, back to oil life. Did you see oil pressure in there anywhere? I guess they don't want us to know that anymore. So, you hold OK button. To reset oil life, engine must be off with run ignition. So we gotta shut the engine off. Let's put it in run mode. Okay. And now hold the okay. There you go, 100%. So, gotta hit this button three times. One, two, or twice, I mean, I'm sorry. That puts the, in, puts the engine in run mode. Then you come up here and hit your OK button. Go back to oil life, and then you hold the OK until it says 100%. And you're done. Awesome. Now we're back on. Pay no attention to that. I'll tell you what that's all about in a future video. All right, now we gotta go out here and check the oil level. Let it drain down a little bit. Should have had the filter already filled up. All right, wipe this dude off. Yep, she pulled six quarts. 
I would put the cover back on. Got all these little grommets on here. Goes on there, 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 and there. Line them dudes up. Heat catchers in there. Thanks for coming along, guys. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Later.